five metres shy of halfway, or Brian Waits. And on to McComb, McComb. Little dance before in that defensive line. As Halifax already into the white haven half. O'Brien finds Calcott onto Keys, finds Kavanagh and Kavanagh finds Crooks. Halifax looking good here as Crooks makes a break. Back inside to Joe Keys and Joe Keys scores the first try of 2024 at the Shea. His first try of the season. And after less than three minutes, Halifax a 4 0 up. And he's one from one today. Is Louis Jufre. Takes three white even players, stopping two on the floor. But Kavanaugh fights for a quick play of the ball and gets it. O'Brien shoots out for dummy half. Great offload to Tangata. Tangata. Oh, if it'll look right, they were Curtis Davies right there, but it's a quick play of the ball. O'Brien finds Jufre. Out to G. G steps off his right, but good defence there from White Haven. Scrambling well as G fights his way inside the White Haven 20. O'Brien waits. Dummy half. Finds Curtis Davies. Sizes up that White Haven defence. Small in stature, but he makes really good yards inside Halifax 10. And still tackles here for Halifax. Inside White Haven's 10. O'Brien goes right to Jufre. Jufre goes to the line. As he got over, of White Haven held him up. It is a try, despite the attention of the White Haven defenders. And the Halifax Panthers go back to back. And Louis Jufre scored his second try of the season. Usual intricate routine. Strikes it high enough. And he's through the posts. No commentators curse for that one. Louis Jufre is kicking brilliantly. He's two from two for the afternoon. The meter's really restricted by this White Haven def uh, Halifax defence as Gebby gets the ball. I don't think it was meant for him. He makes the best out of a bad situation. Gets the offload to Carter and Carter's away. He's got no support though. But Woodburn all makes a tackle along with Greg Eden, I think it was. Last tackle here for Haven in a much better attacking opposition. Duran kicks cross field. But well taken by Salt. It's James Salt and Stoll. No real pressure on him. But that's a bit of a warning sign there for Halifax. Whitehaven threw the ball out rather desperately, went to Gebby. And the Halifax defence slightly switched off and they took advantage of the did Whitehaven. Here's Eden, runs across field, working the overlap and Crooks is away. Crooks has got a clear run to the line if he wants it. He's waiting for the support of Joe Keyes, looking for his second, but Crooks takes him on. Oh, that's brilliant from Ben Crooks. Takes on the Whitehaven fullback and scores his third try of the season. That's brilliant three-quarter play from Ben Crooks. And Halifax playing a really attractive, expansive game. Eden ran across field, found Crooks on the wing and used all his experience to size up the Whitehaven fullback. Just outside the 10, O'Brien hands on to Tangata, short ball to Davies and Davies. Takes three Whitehaven men to put him down just inside the 10. O'Brien goes left, Keys out the back, throws a dummy Joe Keys, and Keys is in for his second. And this is just too easy for Joe Keys. Not even 20 minutes gone, and Ifax are 20 points up. Which he does, straight through the post. Brilliant kick from Jufre. O'Brien and Tangata working really hard in the first stints. Inman works the blind side key, so it's dummy, it's away, back his side, oh! And Ifax overplaying the hand there, and White Haven got punished, and Gebby's away. But Keyes does well to get back. Here's Tia, throws a dummy, he's away, he's Tia, now White Haven are going to score, well, that's come out of nothing. Halifax mistake, punished. And Whitehaven strike back, Curtis Tia. Slow play of the ball, Kings felt the effect of that tackle. Here's Duran, throws a dummy. Saw the Halifax defenders shoot up. I thought to come back the other way, but Lannan and Davies kept the concentration. As on the dummy half, number 15, James Newton goes. And again, Whitehaven try and go for dummy half. Have they got the ball down? No. 
The ball's not on. And Ifax just about survive. Slow play of the ball, Inman finds O'Brien. On to Tangata, Tangata. Footwork of line, but great shot there. From Graham, helped out by Air. There's a bit of fisticuffs there. A bit of handbags and Calcott gets involved. I'm not too sure if that was any more than handbags. Maybe they're arguing who likes Louis Vuitton and who likes Burberry, I'm not too sure, but... White even work it right. Here's King. Good defence there from Joe Keys. Oh, there, and the ball's come out there, but it's going to be a penalty. There's Ryan King right in the middle of it, and even more handbags. I think second half has been scrappy at best. Still no score. Halifax 22, Whitehaven 4. As Ryan King's getting some treatment off the south stand. Well, he's been sinbin, my mistake. Well, I missed that. Ryan King being sinbin. No wonder the south stand were giving him some grief. Inman finds Lannan onto Keyes, who's just been named man of the match. As Kavanagh takes Halifax past halfway. Widdop. Oh, Eden picks up, goes from dummy half. And Eden finds Crooks, who goes in. And if there was any doubt about the result, Crooks' second try of the game, five minutes from half time, from full time, puts the game to bed. And finally, in the second half, there has been a score. And he goes away, Ben Crooks, who gets his second try of the game. Looking for his fourth goal of the afternoon, Liz Euphray. It's certainly high enough, has he got the length? It has. You can tell it was an end of the game effort from Liz Euphray. But the most important thing is that the flags went up. And Halifax will be going into the next round of the Betfred Challenge Cup. 28-4. We're just over three minutes to go. A crooks. Finds Eden onto Lannan and Lannan. Will take his tackle. Last tackle here for Fax. Inman. One ball to Keys. Keys out the back to Widdop. Widdop. Little dink towards the corner. Looking for Salt and Stall. Salt and Stall takes. He's got a try. Yes. Oh, what a grandstand finish. And hometown class for a hometown try. Created with a lovely dink over from Gareth Widdop. And James Salt and Stall gets his first try of the season. That was just class from Widdop. Lovely little disguise. Dink towards a corner and James Saltonstall caught the ball in the full and somehow managed to ground the ball before going out in a touch. What a finish. Here's Dion Air, who takes the ball up as the hooter goes in the background. The game finishes and Ifax progresses into the next round, the fourth round of the Betfit Challenge Cup where we'll play Hammersmith Hill Hoist.